Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here. Welcome to the 2023 Photographer Gift Guide. Everything that I mentioned and more ideas will be linked down in the description box below. The gift ideas are going to be on the low to moderate price range, all under $100. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Let's begin with something boring that is actually so amazing. It is these tech pouches from Moment. Definitely recommend the large. I can fit just just about everything I need for my computer, for my photography business in this pouch. The smaller version is very cute, perfect for coffee shops. This is a phone stand for your desk. I believe I discovered it in 2021 and I've gifted it to friends and it is so underrated. And they tell me that this is so incredibly useful. It even has cut out on the back for the cord, but you would be so surprised how often you will reach for this. Well, I guess not reach for it. You will put your phone on it. Next up is a portable phone charger and I know that there are hundreds out there and you don't know which one is going to be reliable. This little guy, it plugs directly into your phone and I put it to the test when I went to South Korea for 10 days and I was able to charge my phone one full charge and then a little over half a charge. Next up are reflectors. This is a larger size that is ideal for full body portraits while the smaller is more ideal for headshots. They are an incredible tool for natural light photographers. It's going to fill in all of the shadows on the face and once you start using it you are not going to want to stop. This gift idea would be ideal if you are the partner of a photographer or a parent and that would be gifting a year subscription to Squarespace which is the all-in-one website builder. I've been using Squarespace since 2015 and my website is the lifeline of my photography business. With Squarespace there are dozens of gorgeous designer templates that you can build out in just a weekend. You can even and host your website domain directly through Squarespace. So it's truly an umbrella platform. But for those who are just starting out in their business, let's keep it simple by talking about the website itself. Your website is the only piece of real estate that you own on the internet. Your Instagram and TikTok are just borrowed land and your website works for you 24 seven. I have dozens and dozens of free photography website videos and resources on my own Squarespace site, but also here on YouTube where I will teach you how to create an efficient, beautiful, professional website through Squarespace. Covering a subscription payment for the photographer in your life might be a huge blessing for them or the fire under their booty to actually get their website up and running and save 10% off of any website subscription or domain when you head to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker. If you are looking to gift the photographer in your life camera equipment, would you like to save hundreds of dollars on that camera or lens? I recommend that you purchase used because you are going to be able to save hundreds of dollars more and I have an amazing resource. It's called KEH. Most of the items are barely touched. That resource will be linked down below. Next up is a category and that would be tripods. A sturdy tripod is important in photography. These are traditional camera tripods that extend really tall, but I also want to talk about tripods for content creation. First up are two options for tripods for phones. This tripod extends about six or seven feet. It's very sturdy and durable and weighty without being heavy. I'm able to put this into my suitcase and not worry about it weighing down anything. And then I have the smaller tripod from Joby. You can see the size difference and there's a big size difference when this is actually completely put up. If I'm out in the city filming, having this fully extended and out just would bring too much unwanted attention to my phone. Whereas this is nice and sleek and I can wrap it around any surface. Continuing on with a theme of tripods, these are Joby Gorillapods. As they get larger, they get heavier, and so you are able to hold more weight on it, and occasionally you can find these secondhand on KEH. Some of my favorite camera accessories of all time are these Low Pro soft shell accessory pouches. Here's the largest one that I own, and I'm able to fit a camera body and a lens in here. This is something that I can put into my suitcase and know that my camera and lens 
lens is going to be protected and I could also pop it into a tote bag. Next up, this little guy can also fit my camera body. I can Tetris around a couple of batteries, a battery charger, and then we have a couple other size options. Next up are these laptop stands from Moft. These are perfect for those who like a little bit of an extra setup with your computer. You like to have it elevated, it gets stuck on the back of your laptop and you are able to pop it up and pop it down and use it to elevate your laptop a bit to make it more comfortable to type. Then when it's not in use, it folds down flat again. The photographer I think this would make the most sense to be gifted is somebody who is not always working from home. They frequent coffee shops or libraries because this is one less thing that they have to remember to pack because it adheres directly to the laptop. Next up is something that is too big to bring right here into the camera and that is a pop-up changing tent. I have been using one for a couple of months and I love it. It's very roomy and tall and it just makes changing a lot faster and this would be ideal for people who are shooting in cities where you do not have a car. So for example, New York City. I wish I would have bought the black one because it's just a lot more discreet. You can see the outline of the person in the green tent because it's a lighter color and you could fit this in a checked suitcase. This LED light panel from Joby. This is the creator kit. It comes with this additional light. This is going to be perfect for the photographers who like to film content on their Instagram to drive traffic to their photography business. This is also totally adjustable and it can move up and down. I have three additional gift ideas that I want to share that are going to be a bit more customizable depending on who you're gifting to. So number one would be to make a snack basket for editing season. Go to the grocery store and pick out all of your photographer's favorite snacks. Maybe throw in a soda pop, an energy drink, an amazing candle. And if you have the budget and you're shopping at Target or Walmart, I would say check out the over-the-ear headphones and if you can find one for about 40 or $30, and again, if you have the budget, that could be a clever thing to add into this editing basket as well. Photo books. Search up coffee table photography books. I recommend visiting your local bookstore. And this time of year, I've noticed that TJ Maxx actually has a big variety of coffee table books. Last year, I saw that there were a lot of photography books and you were able to get them for very cheap because they were at TJ Maxx. Max. If you have a used bookstore in your area, go there first because you can find incredible hidden gems and you will probably be able to buy even more books for the photographer in your life because they are cheaper since they are secondhand. Lastly, do not underestimate the power of Etsy. I love Etsy for so many different areas of my life, from clothing to homewares and accessories, but this is the perfect place to get personalized gifts for photographers. First thing that comes to mind for me is camera straps. You can get these in all different colors and materials, and you can customize them with their first name or their photography business name, or maybe even their photography business logo. If they already have a camera strap, or maybe they already have a cool, funky camera strap, check out the wrist strap options because that is something different that they might fall in love with. Check out personalized pouches and or duffel bags. When it comes to creative photo shoots, every photographer is lugging around so much stuff in various tote bags. And if you can find a cute little duffel bag that is personalized with, again, first name, business name, their logo on it, or just a really beautiful pattern that you think they'd love. I think that would be so thoughtful. You can typically find matching pouches as well. And if you're a photographer watching who is looking to join a kind, encouraging, and inclusive photography community in this new year, check out my free Facebook group called Build and Bloom. This is the best place to ask questions about your specific photography business. So whether you need help drafting a response to a difficult client situation, or you want an extra set of eyes on a gallery you're about to send out, Build and Bloom is my best free resource. And I've also launched season two of the Build and Bloom Photography Podcast. I believe in you and I believe in your business. Be sure to hit subscribe so you're the first to know when new free videos for your business come out. And I will see you in my next video. Click right here to watch and to learn. I'll see you there.